Hey folks, Greg here, and today we're going to be unboxing and taking a look at the younger toy line for Ghostbusters Afterlife. We have the Ecto-1, as well as some Fright Features figures that they released. Kind of excited about this. Great opportunity for small kids to get involved into Ghostbusters. And I'm going to have another special guest with me today, the leader of the NorCal Ghostbusters, Chris Nance. Stick around, you won't want to miss this. Hey guys, Greg here, and we're back with another Ghostbusters unboxing. And with me as always, because it's Ghostbuster related, is my friend and leader of the Northern California Ghostbusters, Chris Nance. Hi, Greg. You're back. I'm back. I wasn't where you left. I, it turns out I actually <laughs> have been hiding in your closet for like a whole 48 hours. You gotta pull them out whenever there's a Ghostbusters unboxing. I'm like, all right, right can I come them off the shelf and put them down? And all right, let's do this. All right. <laughs> and today we're doing something, we've seen our plasma one we've done as well as like our big professional equipment, you brought your equipment in. Today we're tackling a different toy land. This is a toy brand. This is Hasbro's Ghostbusters Afterlife, but it's for like the kid-friendly version, I guess yeah, I would yeah. say. The kid-friendly version of Afterlife. The the one you'll find at Walmart, uh, just on the shelf that you know, you can go with your parents on Saturday and just grab one. And it was interesting about this line particularly, because they have, they have other stuff for this line too, this is only a small section of it, is it's been, we've been catered to this series so much for the past 30 years. It's nice to see a younger crowd be able to have toys to actually play with. Because if we got, you know, you don't, we didn't let a kid play with your proton pack, it's not no, a toy. No. Hey, you guys got another one of those proton packs? My kid brother really wants one. That proton pack is not a toy. I guess that's right. <laughs> but they have those now that are toys for kids to play with and role play and stuff like that without having to go scratching, oh, the dents, mm -hmm. oh, it's 3D mm -hmm. printed, please don't. You, you've <laughs> seen me at events actually hand my, my proton wand to a kid and I'm, I'm hovering. <laughs> <laughs> right, from, don't drop it, I'll kill please, you. <laughs> please just hold on to this. It's so heavy too. But it's nice to finally get a line of, of toys that kids can play with. So that's what we're going to yeah. look at. That's what we're going to look at today. Yeah, uh, we I... have, we'll start with the ghost first <laughs> and then move on to the Ecto-1 as our last thing we do. So what do you want to start with? You want to start with Slimer, Stay Puff, or yeah. Muncher? Let's go with the classic Slimer. So are these the Fright features? I mean, so they don't label them as Fright features, right? Mm -mm. Well, they do kind of. Ghost Fright feature. But they don't, they don't really brand them or label them as freight features, but it, it definitely feels like the updated, you know, 2021 uh, sort of successor to the old school freight feature line. Right, these are not the Kenner classic line. This is not, the, they may be inspired by it, but I don't think they're the same molds. No, not at all. Or the same design. Not at all. I my, my, my brain's a little fuzzy. They had the skull one that screams. I remember that one, the skeleton right, one, but that's right, the one I remember. The, the, so right off the bat, uh, definitely, not, I don't want to say the word cheaply made, but just differently made than the Plasma series. Yes, yes. For a different eyes. This is obviously, it's a, it's a probably a, a little bit more, it feels like a little bit cheaper plastic than the Plasma series, but it's made for kids to actually play with toys. Exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely much more in the line of, and I actually, I actually really, that is disturbing as all heck for a kid's toy right there. You actually see his- Slimer has a spine? Uh, apparently, I never would have guessed. Then you hit this button and he gets scary. Uh, you can actually like make him press down on it and he comes out, yeah. which is kind of fun. Does he hop? Kind of. Sorta, <laughs> I don't think he's meant to. But that's actually kind of cool. I yeah. think it definitely in heavily inspired by the fright features of the 1980s. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, oh definitely. And I can, you can see sort of in like the articulation that they've done here like, like that is that is very similar to a lot of the Fright Features characters, like the way he pops open. It kind of reminds me of the uh, the football player that kind of transforms into a big mouth. Oh, that's right. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's like toys. Toys back then were a lot. I want to say a lot more creative. I think they had a lot more license to do things with toys because kids actually played with them, so they were kind of important. And now I think less kids play with toys. I have nieces, nephews, eight, six, and thirteen. They don't play with. Toys. Yeah, they're too busy Fortnite and, and, yeah, and so like it's, listening it's, to Little Nas X and the toy industry has changed drastically to where like you know if you go to Hasbro Pulse, all that stuff is for us, yeah, not kids. It's, it's for us. They're it's like, definitely mar marketed at adults. <laughs> it's definitely marketed. So it's it's but it is nice to have a line for the little kids, for your nieces, nephews, sons, uh, sons, daughters, whomever, even you know even grown ass adults if they really mm -hmm. have to collect everything. I think Jason has to collect everything from right, Ghostbusters right. news. So. Let's open Stay Puft Marshmallow Man and see how he looks. A uh, skyscraper-sized specter, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man is big, sticky, and anything but sweet. 
he actually looks really good. Again, he's he's made it out of slightly different plastic and mold than the other ones. Not as much detail on him because obviously people, kids are gonna be playing with him in dirt and sand and mm -hmm, big inside mm -hmm. and busting ghost. Yeah, much much like the other uh, Stay Puff that we've reviewed in the past, he's got like these big chunky uh, articulation. And it's not even really articulation, is it? It's it's part of the the. Oh, they can barely move, but he does. His head moves. His head spins. Yeah. And I think that's it. Everything else, he just kind of, oh, his arms can move up and down a little bit. Yeah, so they, they reset to down when you have him down. Then you just squeeze his little thing and he goes, ah! Surprise! Now he's, now he's taller than you. I feel like this was a, this was a one. I mean, I'm gonna, if I find the clip when I edit this, I'm going to paste it over. There was another one that was One of the fright features that I think, yeah, I think yeah. you're right. There was one of the fright features that had like a, a, an elongating thing to it. It's been so long though that it's kind of hard for me to say. Offhand. Yeah, it's it's because you had there were so many toys and the toys were great. Like all the toys were super creative and super unique. And even mm -hmm. if you didn't see them in the show, it was just cool to see all the different ones. Now we have no doubt the star of the show. Oh, um, Muncher. So this is Muncher. He actually does. So he's a little bit weird. He doesn't have like a fright feature. I I guess his um, tummy is supposed so, to be a freight so feature. So he yeah, you push that in and it pushes the stop sign out and it pushes the other thing out that he's eating. And then like you put his hands up and he spits out the the iron ball, Trash which, ball. which I'm assuming he which he he does in the in the trailers like he spits out right, metal right, bits please. at them and he hits the car. Mm -hmm. I want it to be fun. I, it's weird that it doesn't go inside and come out like you have to push it out. Yeah, it's yeah. a little weird, but I mean people will have fun with the the back thing, the the stop sign and the fire hydrant. That that little belly effect thing is really fun, actually. I really dig that. Yeah, the translucent one, mm -hmm. the translucent effect. Ah. So here's the next one. Uh, we're doing the big one. This is the Ecto, the, the new Ecto Afterlife one designed for kids. And I'll bring out the other one as well. We can maybe do some comparisons to that. Let's open that one up. So this is obviously different packaging from the Plasma wow. series, a little bit more kid friendly. I... A little bit louder. Wow. Okay. It comes in multiple parts. Yeah. It's not fully assembled out of the box here. After while you do that, I'm going to go grab the Ecto one. Pardon me while I sit here on camera and do my best Owen Wilson impression. Wow. Well, the doors are on. You know, like, I don't open a lot of kids' toys, but I don't normally see stickers on a lot of this stuff. I know. Anymore. It's, that's such a throwback. So voila, it's done. It took forever and we messed up the the top tanks a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Here, the, the but, green tank stickers. But it's done. And these these actually will fit. They have like a, a kid line figures that are smaller, like more Fisher Price kind of esque mm -hmm, looking mm -hmm. uh, figures that will fit inside this that are a little smaller than the Kenner ones. I wonder if the Kenner ones will fit in there. I don't have any here. Oh, yeah. Because you can never find them at a Walmart. Ah, yeah. they're always gone. But here's the other book to one. They're really similar. They're very, very similar. And like like the blue, the clear blue plastic for the windows and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like like that was probably the first thing that I really noticed about the uh, the recto, the afterlife ecto. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, is that you still have that blue plastic, clear blue plastic for the glass, which is kind of a nice little like nod back sort of thing. And like other than the, you know, exaggerated edges, because this was based off the animated show but they both conveniently have chairs too, which is funny, right? They both have some kind of a chair me mechanism, but they look fairly, uh, almost like, not identical, but they're pretty damn close. They're they're very close in proportion and, and design, yeah. Which makes sense, because they're both based off the same Same vehicle. car, yeah, yep. same car. So that's the Kenner one. So this one also has the door that comes out, right? So opens here, it's here. And it's a, a little closer to the, uh, to the Ecto than I'd like it to be, but it has the proton pack on the back. Stick the finger here, right? Mm -hmm. So that goes in. Oh, it needs to open this door. Just yep. swing it out fully, and then close it. And I actually like how like the ladder is its separate part. The 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 hose tubing is a separate part. Like it's not part of the mold. You know, mm -hmm. like you have to add it on. It gives it a little bit of depth and mm -hmm. contrast, as well as the uh, the sniffer, which is now a blaster because I can't say gun, mm -hmm. even though it clearly fires a projectile. I don't know what you would call laser gun. <laughs> it's your particle beam gun. <laughs> particle beam emitter, Greg. <laughs> okay, blaster. <laughs> there you go. So it retails for twenty uh, twenty four ninety nine. Oh wow! So it's almost half the cost of the Kenner Ecto one. Wow! 
it kind of shows you the uh, target uh, demographic for the original Ecto-1 is adult will pay more money to have that experience where kids are going to be like, I just want to play with it. Yeah, it's definitely, like I kind of commented on these fright features, it's the sort of thing that you can go to Walmart on a Saturday with your parents and you save up your allowance for a couple of weeks and you can afford to get it. So in the Fry features retail for $10.99 uh, as well, the, the Muncher, Stay Puffed, and Slimer. And they, they have them as the Ghostbusters Fry Feature Slimer figure on Amazon. So okay. maybe they are called Fry Features, but okay. they didn't put them on the, the thing. But I really do enjoy this uh, this stuff when you come over and we, we analyze stuff. It has the little bla the blaster, right? And there's no spring, right? So you just kind of... Hey! Oh, nice hit. I did, but now it's all the way over there. You get Muncher and Frame here and Slimer and you can get them now. They are out now at any place that sells toys, Amazon, Walmart, maybe Target. I, don't, I think Walmart has some exclusivity stuff going on. So those are the best places to find them now. But anyway, Chris, what did you like about uh, these toy lines? Good for kids, definitely. Definitely good for kids. I, lay, I am going to keep harping on this. It's a great infection vector for the newer generations to get into it. Uh, just more of the same sort of thing of, you know, anybody can be a Ghostbuster and kids really identify with that more than anything. There you go. So you guys, uh, thanks for watching our video. If you liked the video, be sure to hit that like, subscribe, notification button. It's three small clicks for you, but means the world to us. Chris, thanks for stopping by again as usual, man. Yeah, no problem. And uh, for everything else gaming, Ghostbuster related, you're already in the right place. You're on shacknews.com.